What's up everyone? It's Mike Bendy from Federa Guitars. I'm here with the one and only Ryan Martini and we're here to announce the new Ryan Martini Blondie Standard. Dun dun dun! I know we kind of gave an, like an Easter egg in our previous video of things in the works. Did we? We kind of did. Well, people caught on to it. I know you guys caught on to it on the interwebs and the social medias. They're like, oh, I, I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> well, here it is. This is the first iteration of the Ryan Martini standard. This is the Blondie. Oh. Ooh. Just call, call me. So we got a flame maple top with the beautiful zigzag pattern. But you actually see the flame maple coming through giving it a little more looks. Oh yeah. Karina body, three piece maple neck. We got the ebony fingerboard and this is a first of its kind too. This is a three plus two standard headstock and it's 26 frets, 16.5 millimeter spacing. This thing is just a beast. Which now has a special triangle peace sign is what we're calling it, which not quite, but, but yes, triangle peace sign. <laughs> New new custom inlay. <laughs> actually, Vadim did that, and it's freaking, yes, it's freaking awesome actually. And this as well, which is uh, burl. Yeah, Buckeye burl Buckeye with a burl. Holly F. Which man, if you can, can you see how perfect that is? Is that too close to see? Is that like look how freaking perfect that is? Yeah, Vadim did an amazing job there. So yeah, sitting. I got I got to play it a little bit, and um, she feels great. Joey uh, worked on it for me, and we got it intonated up, and dropped the pickups a little bit because I was clacking on them a little too much. Now she's starting to feel feel better, more more like home already to me. But I was able to get. So one of the first things that folks may notice is that it doesn't have the ferrules, which uh, on the other one. And the reason we did that, we had, I, I, I played with tapered strings for uh, my entire career to give me some sustain on, on these and just to have less uh, mass in the saddles here to, to help with that. In order to have that work on these bases, it was odd. We had to do the ferrules in the body because mm -hmm. they were long strings. And the only way that worked is to have it through the body so that the actual saddles, so it fit in the right place in the saddles. So we went, when we went to make this, we talked about it, and Anthony from DR was kind enough to send non-tapered uh, 130 to 50s for me because we wanted to, to have something that would be easier for everyone to find strings for. You wouldn't have to go through some specialty shop or pay extra or like find something that, uh, you know, in weird gauges if you're used to it. So we were able to get some stuff. Anthony sent these, and now what I'm finding is with the added mass sitting this way, there's a little bit more tension to the mm. strings. So with the lower tuning, I find it a little bit more favorable playing conditions to have a little bit more tension, especially on these lower strings. I, I can feel that tension change a little bit in some of the faster moving uh, uh, passages. Um, it immediately feels a little bit um, more playable. Right, so just in case people don't know, what, what do you have this instrument tuned to? Uh, F sharp B, F sharp B, E. So you have two sets of octaves essentially, mm -hmm. which of course uh, people who may be familiar with my playing uh, know about the claw uh, that I strike either with two, three, sometimes four fingers mm -hmm. uh, to actually to strike chords to have them ring out. Um, so the two octaves provide that, and you'll see the ch shapes change from a normal octave that looks like this to like this, mm -hmm. straight across. So it all kind of is made to, to work together with the tuning and, and the actual technique. All right, so can we talk about why? Why this instrument? What, where, why, and how? <laughs> why a standard Ryan Martini? Well, because it, just like when you look at cars, and the top model's gonna just run you a bunch because it's got, it's the convertible or it's got, you know, all the bells and whistles. Heated steering wheel, air that, conditioned that seats. That too, independent suspension, all the things. Full self-driving. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> and, and so what we wanted to do is get the same quality and, and have something that was a little more accessible. Um, and that 
being said, this is still not going to be um, something that is pocket change um, because these are handmade the exact same way. Um, there's just a few little th changes um, that make it a little bit easier to make uh, in the shop here and therefore take a lot less man hours. Um, so therefore being able to pull the price down um, so you're not paying for the, the Carrera S uh, a model, you're, just, you're getting still the Carrera. You know, it's Hell still yeah. a 911. It's still gonna be amazing to drive. And so this is gonna be that, that premium still uh, standard. It's still gonna be all the build quality made by the exact same people by hand in house. The neck's gonna feel identical or near identical. Um, while also, you know, providing an entry point for people who are oh, getting the mother of pearl inlay and, and getting the headstock that's several different pieces and, and the wanky neck and, and the wanky wang neck and those things, um, the double and the separate pieces, all that makes a more expensive base. So we've got the same quality instrument, but for less money. So that's what we wanted to do, and when um, that was one of the first the first day we I came here, yeah, I, I discussed that with Vinny, and that has always been something that I wanted to do. Give back, um, yeah, make it um, find uh, a way to get people really high quality instrument in their hands for less money, and so uh, that's what that's what this is about. Why? That's really why, and and so we worked together. Everybody in the shop, uh, uh, you know, busted their butt to to make these happen, and uh, so I'm really proud of all the work that's done. I mean, every every detail has been tended to, every tiny tiny little bit, tremendous, every nuance. So by no means, when we say standard, does exactly. that mean does that mean the the car without air conditioning and cruise control? You know, this still has all all of that going on, all the things you would come to expect from a, 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 a finely made instrument without breaking the bank. So and it's freaking beautiful. So. Yeah, and the access <laughs> all the way up to the twenty six fret. Forget about it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes it uh, accessible. And I do end up. I, I do play all the way up uh, to that uh, at times. So um, for people who tend to play in the upper register or for someone who does a lot of chord work, mm. you know, that access to be able to do um, more melodic lines up here or people who do uh, uh, melody, counter melody at the same time um, are going to have that access way up into here and be able to still hold down, hold down the fort with some bottom notes and be playing the melody things uh, up top and be able to access it fully. So, um, and the heel has been shaped specifically to do this as well. That's not on all uh, instruments either. Um, you can see how the heel that's is bolt-on design. Exactly, and so that that changed things dramatically as far as the reach and the access and the feel leading up to that leading up to that point you can really get I can oh, yeah. get all the way up into here so you can see thumb there fingers there so you can see that it's not there's no stretching to be done to get to that point and yes I have funky thumbs just seeing the three plus two headstock, 26 frets, that that opens up a lot of doors right there. This is not actually mother of pearl, everybody. It's not actually not, and which means that you don't have to worry about um, having it shipped anywhere, having paperwork, uh, or, or taking from a resource that is finite. Um, this is something that we can get, and it looks looks right you, you'd on. have wow. to be you'd have to be a luthier to notice and then maybe not I I can't tell and I no I thought it was mother pearl right exactly yeah so that's the point is that we have some of these features have just been transformed just like this having the top be a single piece instead of the two pieces joined that takes a whole boatload more work to join two pieces as opposed to a single piece that's been actually painted, however, still revealing the beautiful flame maple top. Is that, is that Amoroni red? Amoroni. Ah, Vinny and Joey love the Amoroni. It's gorgeous, man. And with no shell products, guess what? You have no problem traveling worldwide. That's it. That's it. Vinny and I 
no, it wasn't the Amarone that we drank last night. It was Cab. But anyway, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I kept Vinny up too late. He kept me up too late talking, <laughs> sharing stories. It was wonderful, actually. I, uh, I can't pass up a good story. No, oh, he's got plenty of them. I'm I, sure you do too. <laughs> <laughs> I learned when when the single cut got made for Anthony, mm-hmm. uh, uh, 88, 89. Mm-hmm. He received that, um, which was a really cool story to to hear, actually. And and that now, of course, uh, for bass players, uh, historically. Um, now you know where the single cut came from. Find one before 89. Exactly. D- do some due diligence and try to find one before then. Nah. Yeah, Vinny owns nah. a patent on that. <laughs> Which, I mean, imitation is a form of flattery. Everyone Absolutely. wants to do single cutaways. Yeah, and they're killer. Like, the, 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 mini, the mini is fantastic yeah. looking. It's but great. But you got to know where it came from, right? The source. Straight. So, you know, um, that was a cool story to hear that and, and just the development of it and the artist involved. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Anthony Jackson. So, <laughs> uh, you know, was so passionate uh, about bringing that uh, forward. And, and that's what we wanted to do with this is bring the passion um, and, and, and take two steps forward and not take a step back um, and, and uh, really get us into the future and get some more players their hands on things that are finally, finally made and something that you can set cruise control or something that you can take to the track and and race with. She feels great so far, so I'm stoked. So question, are you going to put it through the races on your upcoming tour? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, this will be with me for a couple months, uh, starting in July. Uh, Mudvayne is going out and uh, with Rob Zombie, yes. and we are very, very uh, fortunate and excited to be going out and uh, playing some some songs for everybody, and uh, hopefully having everybody uh, have a great time safely, and uh, everybody can party and have a good time and and hear some great music. So, uh, but I will definitely be uh, playing this new Blondie, and I'm excited to do it. Uh, I was just playing uh, and some of the songs and it's just always it's always fascinating the different voices that they have even though they're made in the same people same shop and it's my same hands and uh, uh, but they they just say things with a little bit different timbre Mm -hmm. Um, and that's the wood difference on the top that's the neck um, uh, you know all of the above but it combines to, to to be something that's still really expressive while saying it just a slightly different way. So, um, you know, I look forward to sharing the Mudvayne songs in with the, just that that little bit of new twist on them mm-hmm. with this new Blondie. So, uh, super excited. And then you'll see also that there's some new electronics here as well. Um, so we've worked, um, we had to bridge, we had some things on the first ones. Um, it was futzing out a little bit um, with some of the pops and heavier things that I was doing. We ended up bridging some things, putting some bridge wires in there um, and bringing them down a few decibels uh, to get that to discontinue. And that problem has totally been solved now. It's a little with, buffer. Uh, that's it, yeah. with this new electronic setup, now we've um, solved that as well as well as giving people some more options tonally too. And that's something I'm getting used to as well as of like an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she's already got some scratches where I was giving her the beans. Giving her some love. Yeah. So one final question, mm. do blondes have more fun? Black Beauty is like, she's a sweetie, man. I don't know about that. I think that's urban legend, urban urban myth. But she's certainly uh, lovely, and um, I'm really excited to to spend some more time with it and um, and, uh, really get the nuances, uh, find out where she sings at and where I kind of need to back off at. Um, you know, all bass players know their instruments, and uh, so you start to build a relationship with them that yes. goes a whole lot deeper than just this is an A or this is a slap pop thing. You know, it's like, okay, well, what does she say here if I do this? That takes time. It just takes a lot of hours spent with them. And then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, I 
I can do this here, but I don't want to because I know it's not going to sound right, so I'm going to change the positioning of it mm -hmm. and do it on a different string. Or I want this to have a little more warble to it. Uh, instead of be a little tighter, brighter, I want some more warble. So I'm going to play this upper on the neck on a lower string, you know, so it's, it's got some more meat on it so I can move that around to give it some more warmth to make it rounder and bigger as opposed to tighter and more focused farther uh, this way on the neck. So, um, and those things just take time. Um, so I'm excited to kind of get to know her uh, and, and what and what she's going to do mm -hmm. um, with the Mudvayne songs. You know, the tuning is definitely what uh, uh, makes it also interesting to get into them as well, um, because certainly the harmonics, some of the techniques change the harmonic uh, content. When you strike in different places, obviously you're getting slightly different harmonic overtones and stuff, and you'll find out what those, um, what this one actually wants, and what it, where it voices in a nice and pleasing way, and when it voices in something that's a little more dissonant. Um, that kind of comes to light with just the, the time put in, the hours put into totally. it. So, so she and I have some uh, some love making to do, and uh, and we're definitely going to have more fun than we should. That's right. Uh, Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, welcome to the world, uh, Blondie. Thank you so much for checking out our video of the new Ryan Martini Blondie Standard. Ryan, I love you, brother. It's always a pleasure to see you. Love you, too. Have a great oh, tour. Oh, 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 the bro. Oh, yes. Bro, oh, bro it up. <laughs> yeah, have a great tour, and congratulations, and we'll see one in your hands soon. I'm glad I've got the flu first today. The, flu, the floofy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it feels good in there. Um, don't say that too much. Uh, I think it feels it good. Feels I think it feels great in there.